Rutger van Duin. Uh, I'm from the company Dacom uh, from the Netherlands. Uh, my function is a sales director, but mainly responsible for sales of RVI. With this customer, we got this request um, to help them out with uh, an additional measurement uh, due to the rocking of a frame 7 turbine uh, stator. Um, and we noticed that the previous measurements were taken by a 2D imaging and only a length measurement um, capability. When the excessive rocking would appear, then it could be that, uh, that the power plant has to be shut down. So the question was if we could measure that excessive rocking of those, um, those parts. So we went in with the uh, Mentor Visual IQ on this specific, um, on this specific point. Uh, and we performed a 3D measurement. And we, we got to the customer application, uh, the turbine. Um, we uh, set up the, uh, the Mentor Visual IQ to do the inspection. Um, so together with the 3D phase measurement tip uh, that we have on the Mentor Visual IQ flame, uh, we performed uh, the measurement. And we started out with uh, searching the location, um, pinpoint, okay, what is the exact plane that we want to measure from? So we're placing the measurement reference plane, then go up to the rocking piece and we place the measurement cursor on the rocking piece and then in the 3D point cloud we can really visualize okay, what is the actual quality of the 3D image, looking at pixels, uh, looking at colors differences uh, and especially also the green mask that we put over the existing uh, non-affected parts to represent if it's flat um, so that your measurement reference plane is according to a flat surface uh, because that's what measurement starts with correct data. So what we found is that the uh, traditional way of uh, measuring the, uh, the rocking itself with a length measurement in a 2D atmosphere uh, would give a, uh, an excessive measurement which uh, results in a, in a shutdown of the power plant. It was planned to be shut down. Uh, when we came in, uh, we did that measurement uh, again with the 3D uh, functions that we have and showed the customer that it was not excessive and that it was within limits of what that rocker can have uh, or that application can have at that point. So that uh, resulted uh, in, uh, in uh, some happy faces, of course, uh, with the customer.